mic sports vibes thank you for vibing with the bull damian lillard is finally traded there's a new beast of the east and the name of the team is not the philadelphia 76ers unfortunately nah bruh nah Mm -mm -mm. it's the milwaukee bucks the milwaukee bucks receive one of the best players in Blazers history, Damian Lillard. The Blazers received Drew Holiday, DeAndre Ayton, Kamara. I don't, ain't going to pretend to say his first name. I ain't even going to try. The Bucks gave up a 20. Also, they gave up a 2029 first round pick. Unprotected. Swap rights on Bucks 2028. And 2030 picks, which I feel like that's not enough for one of the greatest players in the history of your franchise. I do like Drew Holiday, but everything else doesn't make sense to me. The Suns receive, and the Sun, the Suns got Nurkish, Grayson Allen, Nasir Little, and Keon Johnson. Keon Johnson's young player, Nasir Little, is um a young player also. Nurkish. I think that um, he's underrated. He averaged 13.3 points, 9 rebounds, 2.9 assists, and he developed a 3, which he's shooting a little bit above average from 3, 36.1%. And he's solid on defense. And I think that I'm not going to say he's better than DeAndre Ayton, but DeAndre Ayton, I feel like they hyped him up so much, and he's not even all that to me. He really ain't. And... The Suns are sneaky getting, building a team around their three stars. You got KD, you got Booker and Bradley Bill, and you're building your team the right way. So the Suns is definitely the team to beat in the West. And, and I mean that out of no disrespect to the Nuggets, but y'all going, it's going to be tough to beat them. And then in the East, the Bucks is the team to beat in the East, man. And I got to admit to it, it just kind of sucks because I'm thinking as a Sixer fan, we trying to get out the second round, which I believe we want to get out the second round with Nick Nurse. By the way, let me just say this real quick. Shout out to the Phillies for clinching a playoff spot. Just wanted to get that out of my chest real quick. Congratulations. Congratulations. Let's go. Almost did the skull. But um, congratulations to the Phillies. But yeah, I just wanted to say that the Sixers have to do something with James Harden and we have to get the right players. I don't know. There's rumors going around about Drew Holiday potentially being like a James Harden for Drew Holiday. What do y'all think about that? Do you think that'd be an upgrade getting Drew Holiday to replace James Harden? I think it's about equal and I'm gonna tell you why Drew Holiday is 33 years old he's averaged 19 points 5 rebounds 7 assists and he shot 38.4 from 3 he's clutch he's a champion he knows how to win he ain't scared a moment James Harden is scared a moment he's not clutch he did lead the league in assist he had the most assists in the league I think it was like 11 assists a game he's a pretty good score still at his age he just doesn't have it when it counts the most and I, I'm riding with Drew Holiday, but we need more than just Drew Holiday. And I think Drew Holiday will work good with Tyrese Maxey. Tyrese Maxey will play off ball. Drew Holiday could facilitate pretty good. He's not that much. He's not that far behind from James Harden. You know what I mean? He's pretty good when it comes to facilitating the basketball. He ain't on the level of James Harden, but he's not that bad. He ain't that much worse than him. And um, I feel like this is this is scary, y'all. The one-two punch. With Dame and Giannis, it's going to be nasty. That's probably the best one-two punch in the whole NBA, and I'm keeping it real. Like, you could probably put Devin Booker and KD in there, but I kind of lost a lot of respect for KD because you go into the Warriors, a team that had all that talent, and you just you just want the easy way to get that. You wanted an easy championship. That's how I look at it. But um, this is going to be tough. So, Joel B and Tyrese Maxey versus Dame. And Giannis. Joel Embiid and Giannis is close, right? But when it comes to Dame and Tyrese Maxey, not not yet. It's not close yet. But I will say this, because I made a video 
a couple of days ago saying that I would trade Tyrese Maxey for Damian Lillard. And a lot of people were coming at my neck for it. And I invite all the smoke. We can definitely do that debate. But I just felt like I just want to win now. 40 years is a long time. And I know that Tyrese Maxey has a lot of potential. But we just hoping that he can get on the level of Dame. And I'm happy we do have Tyrese Maxey when we kept him. But I just look at it like, yo, I'm trying to win now. Like, I'm not trying to wait any longer. Like, how much longer do we have to wait? But I understand the other aspect of Damian's been hurt the last couple of years. And you don't want to give up on a young talent like Tyrese Maxey. I believe he's only 22 years old, averaging 20 points. And with the ball in his hand, more, more opportunities to shoot the ball, he's going to average at least 25, 26, 25, 26 points a game. As easy because he's that talented. So I understand. And um, but we're gonna have to agree to disagree on this matter because I'm trying to win a championship now. But depending on what we get back from James for James Harden, we're we're not that far away. But we just got a little bit further away from being champions because the Bucks got a whole lot better. And if Middleton is healthy. Ooh, but they got a new coach. So it's a lot of factors. You know what I mean? We got a new coach. Our coach is going to push Joel Embiid to the, to, to, to the MVP limits. And hopefully he pushes them to be MVP in the playoffs. That's what we want to see Joel Embiid be MVP in. Not in the regular season. Regular season doesn't mean anything anymore to Philadelphia 76er fans. I'm just keeping it real. You know what I mean? We trying to win championships and that's what it is. But hold on, hold on. Mike Sports Vibes, thank you for vibing with me. Yo, make sure you hit that like button and that subscribe button if you haven't already. You already know the vibes. We doing play by play most games this season. It's gonna be, it's gonna be the vibe. It's gonna be fun. I invite all the Philadelphia 76er fans all around the world to tune in and subscribe to the channel. It's gonna be lit, man. You're gonna have a party every time there's a game and I'm live. It's gonna be a party and we're gonna have fun. You know the vibes with it. But uh, yeah. Let me know in the comments below what you think about all this craziness that happened, which I love this craziness. I love this. I'm so happy that NBA is about to start up. Training camp is about to start in a week. I just can't wait to trade James Harden. I can't wait. And Tobias Harris. This is the end of the video. I truly appreciate you vibing with the bull. Make sure you hit that subscribe and like button. I'm out.